How many nail biters do you think you're going to have this season? Um, you know, who knows, but as long as we keep winning, that's, that's all that matters. It seems like you celebrate a little bit after Ron, after Rojo. Yeah. yeah. Last time you celebrated. Yeah, um, I celebrate after every, you know, after every touchdown, after every win. Uh, but I sense that we needed a little spark, and, you know, it's just you know, stepping in to a little bit of a leadership role, and I don't even really think about it, but just knowing that we needed a spark and something to get us going, it was, it was time to kind of show some emotion. How much do you think Rojo helped you guys tonight? A ton. Uh, yeah, a ton. Uh, both, both him and Vi really stepped up when needed. Um, and I think that that's a credit to our O-line, um, but also a credit to our defense for getting some three and outs and maybe some shorter drives for the Utah offense and that, that kept the Utah defense on the field. And I think as the game progressed, especially in the second half, their defense, especially the defensive line, started to wear down a little bit and you can sense that. Last week you were talking about kind of like one of those years when you talk about that fumble that you were doing last week. Uh, Given that, I mean, it's been kind of like a frustrating couple weeks for you. So was there any sort of like sense of relief after this one? Um, yeah, after the second half, there was, there was a lot of relief just knowing that we could find a rhythm and that um, come through, come through. we're kind of back to playing the, the ball that we're used to. And um, we're gonna we're gonna look at the film and you know look at look at the corrects and stuff. And um, you know we're, we're not we're not shy in doing that and knowing that we're wrong in some areas right now. Um, especially me with turning the ball over. Um, but we're going to look at the film and uh, try to correct it. Uh, How crazy was the first half in your eyes with some of those like, turnover plays? What was going on? Yeah, I think just being lackadaisical, I think that's, that's the word to describe it. Just I don't know what it was. It was just me you know, being indecisive, I think, with handing it or pulling it or throwing it. And some of those RPOs, um, you know, they gave they gave us a certain look and rolled into a different look right on the snap. And um, you know, I'm not making any excuses, but um, at times that can be hard. And but you know, I, I just got to be better and be more decisive. The deficit of the 14 points, which was the largest for you guys in last year, this feel like a bigger, like bound to find another comeback you guys had. Um, I don't know. Uh, I can't really remember, but at the same time, I think. Them being up 14 and a half, and we knew they'd get the ball, but we knew our defense would stop them. We knew if we scored a touchdown on our first drive, we'd be right back in it. And that's kind of our mindset. And especially um, in the second half, the game slows down a little bit. Um, so we knew that there was a lot of time to make up for what we did in the first half. And um, knowing that, we trusted the process, and you know, we, we just we stayed confident in, in our game plan. And, awesome to see us kind of find a rhythm. So during, during a game, do you ever take a moment and think about big picture what a result would mean for your season? Um, I try not to. Um, but No, I try not to. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, sometimes it can slip in your mind, honestly. But at the same time, I try to, you know, try to stay on course. And I think that's part of, personally, that's what I think. I think I do that really well is just, you know, making a mistake and then moving on from it. And being able to find faith in our offense and my ability to go out and make play. Did it What's slip it? into your? Did it slip into your mind at all tonight? Um, no. What's it like to be the offensive guy in the game completely out of your hands? What's up? Yeah. The, on the two point play. Yeah. Um, it's totally I was just, not your, you know. Yeah, I was just uh, confident that our uh, defense would go out and make a play, and you practice. We, uh, we practice those situations a lot, you know, the two-point plays and all that kind of stuff. So that's just another prime example of uh, situational awareness and our defense doing a great job and them winning us the game today. You kind of feel like when you're playing, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. You're always going to have something No, it's not my mindset at all. Uh, I'm trying to play the best ball I can play early on, early and often, and just keep a steady pace throughout the game, but that's just kind of how it worked out tonight. Um, we'd like to not have these close games if we can, if we can uh, help it, but you know, a win's a win, and we're going to look at the film, get better, and move on. Um, I think we sense them getting tired a little bit, and our coaches did a great job of getting the play in. And, um, Awesome that our, our, uh, our O-line 
and then the receivers and myself and Rojo and running backs. We did a great job of sensing that as well and really speeding up the tempo once the play got in. So um, it was just a total team effort tonight, uh, especially you know offensively in the second half getting really good. You know, the the fourth quarter Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the goal, you know, to play four quarters consistently. Um, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but um, just staying resilient and continuing to play, you know, Trojan football, that, that's, the, that's the ultimate goal, and I think that's what we did tonight. Thanks, guys.